Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be creating another journal with me spread and this is one of my monthly spreads. So I would love to know if you guys are really enjoying these journal with me videos. I don't get a lot of views compared to my snail mail videos on these ones but I'd really like to know if you guys are enjoying them and if you really enjoy watching them or if you're watching them just because they're another upload because I do want to make videos that you guys really get inspiration from or can get ideas from so I'd love to know what if firstly if you like these videos and secondly if you want to see different journal with me spreads or ideas you can do for your journals so what I've been doing lately is I've been consciously trying to collect paper goods so for example tickets I always like to collect any tickets that I get from anywhere or um, little coasters are also a good one because it usually has the name of the place you've been to and also collect things that are really pre pre pretty and beautiful from my pen pals. So that's what I'm going to be doing more often. I want to really do monthly spreads and really um, arrange it from all the things that I've done from that month. So as you can see, this spread is actually a February spread. And I know it's a little bit late this upload. We're already in March. But I did want to um, put this on my channel because I really liked the layout of this one. As you can see, I went hot air ballooning with Dan. And if you go check out my Valentine card video, at the end of that video, I've got the footage of our hot air ballooning trip. And as you can see, I've also got some um, stickers and things from Jenna Templeton. I actually did a collab video with her in February and I also went to her house. So it was really nice that I could collect little things that reminded me of her and the things we did. And I could put that in the journal as well. So this spread really tells a story of what I did in the month of February. And I love that you can have this in your journal and look back on it and you can actually see a year's worth of collages and all the things that you did throughout the year nicely laid out. So I really enjoy my monthly spreads and I want to get a little bit more creative with them. It was a pretty busy month for me. I don't know if a lot of you guys know, but I've been working really long hours. So I work around 40 hour weeks. And sometimes that can turn into 45 hours depending on lunch breaks and interviews and things like that and meeting times. If a lot of you guys don't know, I am a recruitment consultant. So basically what that is, is I help people look for jobs and I do the entire process from um, over the phone interviews with my candidates, so people who are looking for jobs and I also have to bring in business and find jobs from clients. So I'm doing a lot of customer calls as well as business development calls on a daily basis. I start at eight o'clock in the morning. It takes me from the Northern Beaches to North Sydney in the city about, um, about an hour in the morning. So I'm waking up pretty early. So I wake up most days around six and I come home because my work finishes at 5.30. I come home around 6.30. So they're pretty, they're pretty long days and it's Monday to Friday. I love my weekends though. I'm so happy I work in a corporate environment where <laughs> no one's open on weekends. So we don't have to work weekends. But just because I've been working these longer hours, I haven't really had a lot of time to make these videos quite often and regularly. So I've been making the majority on my Saturdays. And if I have a packed weekend where I'm doing lots of social things, I sort of have to like um, either plan them in advance or sometimes I try to fit them in on Sunday afternoon and get that uploaded for you guys. So I've been working a lot lately. So if you've been wondering why sometimes my videos are, have been a lot shorter or have been a little bit more simpler in terms of editing or... Um, why my upload schedule has just been a little bit crazy. It's just because I've been working yeah, around around 40 hour weeks and I'm still in the training part of my job. I started in November, so it's been it's been pretty full on. So I also have a degree that I'm currently finishing. So I'm currently finishing a marketing degree, but that's online. So probably leading up until April I might be less and less online just because I need to finish that degree before April so I just wanted to let you guys know that there may be a few weeks that I don't upload just because I need to get my studies done and then after April I should be back to normal in terms of one to two videos each week. So another exciting thing that's happened is we started a mini 
snail mail challenge which was super super fun um i loved creating it and i've had so many messages on instagram and via email telling me that people have sent me letters i think altogether we've had 25 entries so 25 people have created a letter and sent it to australia i have 10 at the moment that have actually arrived in Australia in my PO box and when I get them I just tick off everyone from my list so I'm still waiting for about 15 once they all arrive or when majority of them arrived that's when I'll make a video and we can go through and show all the little mini mails that you guys have created on camera and we'll be able to pick a winner for that so at this point we have about 10 look I have 10 in my house right now um, and yeah hopefully the other 15 arrive soon but I am aware that the mail's coming from all over the world so I'm going to give it about a month and then if there are one or two missing I'll just contact the people who the mail may have gone missing um, and then if they can track it we'll check that and I'll just also make sure if they're very far away I might give it a few more weeks as well but hopefully all the mail will be in I'm guessing next month and then we'll be able to open that up so I'm so excited also if you guys have any other challenge ideas please let me know because I would like to run another challenge once we select a winner for the mini mail challenge and I know you guys have just been really enjoying the challenges we do and how we can do more like um, community based things I really would like to know what kind of things you want to do in terms of community based things so maybe maybe next time we can do like a swap so next time I can get a list of pen pals who haven't had pen pals and maybe a good idea would be is you email me if you're looking for a pen pal I match everyone up I give everyone a swap theme and then everyone takes a photo of it and lets me know so then I can show it on this channel that might be really fun it's a good way of giving everyone pen pals I can match everyone up and we could do a really fun swap and the swap theme I can do a tutorial video beforehand and um, yeah that might be really really fun um, let me know in the comments below if you would like that challenge or if you have any other challenge ideas as well so that's the end of my journal spread um, it's nice having a chat with you guys and update you about my life so I will like to do this more often but for now I hope you enjoyed this journal spread and yeah I'll see you guys next week with another video thanks for watching bye